teens. Hi, I'm Corey. And I'm Colin. And welcome to Two Teens. And a movie. The movie that we'll be reviewing today is Men, Men in Black, Black 3. 3. Men in Black are back, and this time Agent J, Will Smith, must take a trip into the past in order to save both the future and his grouchy partner, Agent K, Tommy Lee Jones, in the third installment of the hit sci-fi comedy series. After 15 years of working with aliens from all across the universe, Agent J is sure he's seen it all. But just when he's getting the hang of the game, he learns that history has been rewritten. In this new timeline of events, Agent K has been dead for 40 years, and Earth will soon come under attack from an alien force with the power to claim the entire planet. Now, in order to set the past straight and head off an invasion of epic proportions, Agent J must travel back to the year 1969, when a young Agent K, played by Josh Brolin, was just a fresh new face on the force. But Agent J only has 24 hours to find the source of the coming catastrophe and figure out how his partner ties into the situation. Because if he fails, he'll be stuck in the past forever. So, Colin, we should talk about what we liked about this film and what we didn't like about this film. To be honest, I really like this film. I'm a major Men in Black fan, but there was only, like, one thing that really set me off. At some parts, it was kind of herky-jerky. It was a little bit stop-and-go. It just didn't flow right at some times. I agree with you, Colin. And another thing that I did not like about this film was that the main villain, Boris the Animal, had some moments that felt a bit too over the top. Especially during that one scene in which the creature that helps him escape crawls right back into his body. Corey, I gotta agree with you. Boris was very creepy. What I really liked about this film was the action was intense. I loved the weapons and explosions. I also loved the comedy. It was the funniest Men in Black out of the whole entire series and possibly the funniest movie of this year. Colin, you were dead on. What I also liked about this film was that the performances by Will Smith, Tommy Lee Jones, and Josh Brolin as a young Asian K were great and they lived up to their roles. I also liked how the special effects were spectacular and how they managed to portray the aliens in several different varieties. And I also liked how they went BOOM! So now for the parental cautions. There's no sex in this movie, there's very minor coarse language, and the violence is all alien-like, so it's blue and green blood that's ooey and gooey. So I recommend this film for kids 11 and up. So now here comes the part you've all been waiting for. Our grades. I gave this film an A. I gave this film an A minus. Really, Corey? You gave it an A minus, even though you only pointed out one thing that you really didn't like? Well, Colin, what can I say? I'm a tough grader. And I'm also grading on a curve because there are plenty of better movies out this summer so far. So from two teens and a movie, we'll, we'll see you next time. time. Two teens.